it's going. All right, we had previously pulled off the panel here, uh, just two bolts that held it in place. Then we took off the little uh, nose that separates the engine um, from the interior of the car. Uh, we pulled off the carb uh, head, um, air, air filter, filter uh, um, and it just makes it a lot easier to get to everything, like if you need to service this. Um, but we're going to do just one of the spark plugs here on the uh, driver's side. Um, everything else has been replaced. Just give a sample. So, let's wiggle the, that loose. Uh, using a 5 8 um, with an extender to. Uh, this is the easier side to get to. Yeah, the pass, uh, passenger side was really shitty. Pretty simple. Usually, once you get them loosened up, they'll come right off. Let's see if I can just it's still a little. You can see the exterior of these are in rough shape. There's not too much carbon built up on the on the rest of these uh, spark plugs, but who knows this one could be the. So oh, there's the old spark plug. Um, it's a bit of carbon. It's, again, not the worst I've seen. Um, next thing I want to do is uh, use your gapper, check, make sure, uh, check and see what it is. We're about 0 0.04. Take our new auto light spark plug. This should be a 0 0.037, really. Um, yep. So it's close enough. We'll just run with that. Um, I'll put it in. Um, I found it's best if you just use this. Uh, use the extension with the socket. Um, the other thing you want to check is make sure the boot is uh, clean. Doesn't isn't really rusty or anything. This one's fine, so we're not going to replace it. We did have to replace a couple on this, but that one's fine. So kind of be a bitch to tighten down. This one's pretty easy though. It's very accessible. You should probably use a torque wrench if you're going to do this right. Um, it's an old car. We don't really give a shit. As long as it runs fine. Um, Don't try and over tighten these. Um, just make sure it's tight. And then seat the boot back on. Alright, uh, and at this point we'll start uh, putting everything back on. We did replace the cap and rotor earlier. Um, one of our posts was completely shot. Um, at this point, we'll fire it up and see how it goes. Um, just go ahead and pause it, and then we'll record from here on out. All right, and we just got a new Fram air, air filter in. Intake housing filter. We'll fire it up to see how it sounds. That's it. Back up again? Yeah, if you want to. There you go. So getting that that thing on is kind of a pain in the ass, but and that's it.